Stay tuned because this is going to be good. How are you guys doing? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. If this is your first time visiting the channel, let me say welcome. Let me also say thank you for giving my channel a chance. But if you would, do me a favor. Don't subscribe to me yet. Get an idea of who I am by watching some of my other videos, okay? Not reaction videos, but other videos. To everybody else that's in here right now and is watching, the ones that's been with me along this long ride thus far, know this. I'm good, okay? I'm just letting y'all know. Seriously, I'm, I'm good. So, y'all know what I'm talking about, but I'm good. All right, so the only difference is that you won't be able to leave no comments on uh, music videos. But in this particular case, I think you would be. Then again, I don't know. We will see if I just want to once I upload it. All right, so this was sent to me from someone, and I seen it, and then I was like, okay, wait a minute. I got to do a reaction to this, and I want y'all to see it, okay? But we're going to watch this all along together. This is crazy, all right? So give me a second and move out the way so I can actually have my little thingy right here. No, oh, by the way, if you happen to see a little exclamation mark dingy look it's still light up there if you see a little exclamation mark dingy there's going to be somewhere right there that's my other channel mrm ministry that's where i pretty much do everything christian related if i really do reaction videos it's going to be music videos to that um that's only christian based okay we talk about things topics coming from a christian view all right so check that channel out subscribe over there okay all right so anyway what i'm getting ready to do now is show you guys something right here and i'm going to give my opinion on it all right so Check this out because this is cr this is this is crazy. All right, here we go. Like I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. We're moving, we're taking care of kids, but our food quality suffers. We are living in the Trump era. And look, those policies kill our people. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower, even when we're following the diet than our white women counterpart. And what, and what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Have y'all seen that movie when Will Smith was a superhero called Hancock? He got it right. Y'all know what he said? Okay, well, you should sue McDonald's because they f***ed you up, all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, and I, you know what was sad about that? Is that you have folks in there that may not know anything about the body and how it works. And they just, yeah, and clapping and they manning. This has to be probably one of the most ridiculous excuses I've ever heard of. And because she's so uh, with it and so uh, with it and so that that makes it seem like she's very knowledgeable. Knows what she's talking about. They just, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeding an excuse to stay fat. Flat out, I'm sorry. There is no. Uh, she said eat the same food that white women eat. Let's see, the stuff that God naturally put here for us to eat, fruits, vegetables, nuts, berries, legumes, I mean, <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Are, are you, can you, are you even serious right now? To, is that, guys, black women, if y'all are falling for this bull crap, I'm sorry. There is no white people died and the black people died. There's certain things out there that can show some type of things like, you know, eat right for your blood type. Some things that you may not be, uh, your body might have a little bit of an allergic reaction to, whatever. But in my case, and a lot of my studies and my research and my beliefs and what I talk about as far as health goes, um, how are you allergic to something? How are you allergic to a place that you were meant to live? But that's another ball game. Well, that's something else I'm going to talk about when we talk about why you may be allergic. But anyway, um, it's really, really easy. What are you eating? You are not going to sit here and tell me that you're going to sit there and eat a low calorie diet and you exercising right. You getting good sleep. You getting enough water. You eating the right foods. And you telling me that that's you. Come on now. Come on. Don't don't do that. I, I, and then she said the racism, the stress that you feel from the racism. 
Uh, what about not having a daddy there? I mean, <laughs> what about what about you being a single mother? Because I mean, I'm just being real. 70, 70 plus percent of you are single mothers amongst blacks. So, but oh, eradicate that stress, huh? Get that get that stress out the way. That oh, that ain't the stress that might be causing me to not eat right. Da 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 da. But um, it's this man at all. Oh, but no. Oh, get I raise you another one. So you talking about the current people that at the powers that be or um. The president, he didn't tell you to go to the store and buy them Twinkies and <laughs> he didn't tell you to go and buy the Twinkies and the Ding Dongs and the Doritos and the, the food and the processed food to come in boxes and all that. He didn't tell you to go and do that. That is the craziest thing in the world. Like you telling me right now that you don't have a mind of your own. You telling me that's where our kids and that's no, you are putting that food in the house that your kids are eating. If your kids are getting fat too, that is your fault. That ain't no president fault. There ain't no oh, a, a white woman's diet. <laughs> you must have not seen that there's people in America. America, I think is, uh, I might know. This is arguably now I'm saying this, but America got to be in the top. I'm gonna say, I, I was going to say three, but I'll say that America is the top five is the fattest countries in the world. America, that's black and white. So, so I mean, so I guess the white people must be eating a black woman diet. <laughs> that's what I'm just and no, but seriously, this kind of this has to be some of the most craziest stuff that I've heard of, man. We were all meant to eat the food. That is on this earth. And you might find that you might be allergic to some of those who whatever it is, I get it. Get away from it. But nobody's sitting there telling you to go to McDonald's and eat all that. Nobody's telling you to eat wrong every single day. That is a choice. The reason why you are where you are is because of choice. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some of us that have like predisposed genetics to actually, you know, you might be like, you know, I mean, look at all the different body types. Endomorph, ectomorph, mesomorph. You got all these different body types, right? So if you are a person that was like you guys, guys, like, I mean, think about some people you know right now that might be super skinny. You say things like, well, they can eat all the food they want and they stay skinny. And you got people like, you know, well, like I was told that, man, you can eat all day long and look how skinny you stay. Uh, you don't know what the type of work that I put in. So ain't, that that comes with the price. That comes because my metabolism, your, your metabolism, I, I actually work out. So that's one thing. But the other thing is there's also some people that they seem like they can't lose the weight. They're like, I've been big all my life. Well, I don't even hardly eat stuff like that. Well, you know, have you talked to a doctor about that? Because there is something that your body can do that can go into survival mode. That if you're not giving it the proper nutrition that it needs, your body's going to constantly put out a sign saying that I'm hungry. And if you think they're feeding your body the wrong things and your body's not being nutritionally supplied it's going to continue to put out a hunger system signal i'm sorry that's why some things let you know like lay's potato chips i bet you can't eat just one <laughs> and think about cereal dude i can eat a whole box of cinnamon toast crunch no I, i'm talking about in one setting with no won't even remotely close feel full so what i'm saying is that if you eat certain foods that doesn't have a high nutritional content in it your body is made to be nutritionally supplied. And if you're giving your body all these calories, all the high in fat, high in cholesterol, but there's really no nutrient base content, no strong amount of nutrients and vitamins and minerals that's in that food, your body's going to take it and process it adequately. And then it's going to say, hey, guess what? I'm still hungry. Want to know why? Because your body feeds off of nutrition. Now, the stuff that you put in there that may come from processed foods or whatever, your body can take these things and it will, it, if you don't use it, it turns it into glycogen, right? Which is sugar. Sugar is pretty much used to make your body uh, give you energy. Your heart literally constantly feeds off of sugar. That's why it keeps beating like it does. And so my point in saying that is this. If you give your body the wrong things, your body's going to take it in, turn it into uh, glycogen. And if it's not being used, it's going to be converted and stored as fat. Fat is nothing more than unused energy. It's unused energy, adipose tissue, but fat, I tell people all the time, yeah, you can say I'm fat, I'm heavy set, I'm da-da-da, you just have a lot of energy that you just need to burn off. That's the way I explain it to a lot of people, a lot of patients, but to sit there and say that the reason why you are fat is because of race, man, y'all, black folks, come on. You, we, now, now, white people making us fat because of racism. Or whoever, whatever. It might not necessarily be white people. It can be any other race. It just it might be races against black folks. But that's what's causing you to be fat. So when she said, if I try to eat the white, the white woman's diet, we lose the weight slower. You shouldn't be trying to lose the weight super fast anyway because you didn't get fat real fast. That took time for you to get big like that. You didn't just over all of a sudden you ate a cheeseburger all of a sudden. 
Three days later, you just swelled up to the size of, I mean, come on now. You gained the weight slowly over years. That's why people say, I didn't even know I was that big. I looked at the pictures and man, oh my God. That's why pe people do that. So if you gain the weight, probably some years to get the weight back down to where you probably want it. Now, again, I'm letting you guys know there are people that are different body types that might come being a little bit heavy, but it does not mean that you cannot get yourself down to the weight where you feel you need to be. It, 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 that's, a, that's a known fact. If you look at different, look at NBA players that y'all know of, or even football players, or whatever. Look at these players that once they've retired and they're not physically um, working out or they're not exercising anything like that, you see that they gain weight as well. Some of them still keep up with the same type of eating habits that they had while they was actually in the game. That eating habit has not changed. That's why, like, um, I think uh, amongst uh, sports medicine, Dr. Beckton, we, uh, we saw this study that was out there, like a lot of football players, depending on the position, they die early. They mean the average age of a lot of some of these football players, depending on their position, is 50 to 55 years old. You know, because a lot of them guys, they, they out there, they, don't get me wrong, football players, y'all ever seen it? excuse me a workout the football players are out there working hard athletes i'm talking about me doing track professionally you out there working hard man so it's, it's nothing for me to put down anywhere from four to six some thousand calories to, to keep up with because if you don't get that in you're going to feel it when you try to go and do that workout the next day you're going man i know i didn't eat enough calories because this is just burning me out now what can happen is that after you've been after you have not been active uh physically like you were before extreme like that you still gonna have the same type you still can have the same type of appetite but the only difference is now because you're not working out like you were it's gonna kind of cause you to gain weight like i said look at some of the nba players football players whatever it may be look what happened when they are in there when they retire and they go into like their 50s whatever like that they put on the weight now some of them because of the day and age we live in now people are a lot more health conscious some of them do kind of they keep the weight off but they keep the weight off by how they eat not necessarily about working out but my point is this if you are really, really heavy set like that, man, I mean, the body works the same type of way. You get your body in the mode to where it can go into ketosis and your body uses the fat as energy, then your body will start to burn it off and you will begin to lose weight. Well, no, it's not that easy because not everybody, oh, come on, don't make up an excuse for yourself for staying that way. Come on now. I mean, but this right here is hand down, hands down. That's ridiculous. And then for folks to sit there and listen to her and they, 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 yeah, and mm -hmm, that's right. It's like, what are y'all, y'all, are y'all serious right now? Are you serious? God, ain't the crazy back in the day when I was little, the only people, it, it, it was, it was sad. It was almost rare to see a fat kid. And the reason why, and I hate to say this, I mean, I, you know, you saw the little kids that were younger when they were heavy set, they were made fun of. But the question that we need to ask ourselves is why did those kids stand out so much? Why did the fat kids stand out so much? Because they were the only one that looked like that or the only two or three that looked like that. I promise you, through elementary to middle school, there was no real, I mean, there was a few and far in between, but there were, everybody was, most. They were, nobody was fat, if y'all know what I'm saying. And I'm not talking about girls that are, uh, girls that are thick, you know, like that full figure, they coming into puberty, they know they start to put on what I call like the woman. I'm not talking about nothing like that. I'm talking about full blown, flat out obese, just huge. And you're going to sit there and tell me that that, come on, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all remember when it used to be a thing where PE was every day? Y'all remember that? To where they told oh, it's only going to be once a week now. Y'all remember there was a time where kids had a recess? Y'all remember that? You know, so anyway, that, that this is too funny right here. Now, hold on, I'm going to play something else in here because something sounded real crazy. Give me a second. Policies kill our people. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says... That black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower, even when we're following the diet than our white women counterpart. And what and what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that is not no stress levels in your body that changes your metabolism. Your metabolism is changed because of what you are putting in it. Your metabolism changed because of your inactivity. There's what's the point of actually trying to burn off all this stuff if there's no reason to burn it off? What is the point of your metabolism actually sparking and kicking up if there's nothing for your there's no reason for your metabolism to be sparked and kicked up? What reason are you giving your body to even want to burn fat? You know, you you're not just gonna sit there. Come, oh my God! I mean, that, that's sad. That's that's really really sad. I I mean, that's too funny. But uh, again, folks, weight loss 
Let's not talk about the weight loss. Let's say, let's call it what it is. It's fat loss. Or I'll say, you just got a lot of energy that you need to expand out your body. Plain and simple. But to sit up there and say that racism is a re... I'm dead. <sighs> Man. People getting, people getting the card all day long. But I totally disagree with that. That's crazy. We've seen people that lost weight. People do use weight the same kind of way. Some people just need to do a little bit more than others, whatever like that. But when it all comes down to it, it's going to be caloric intake. Caloric intake, folks. You need to have more calories going out than you have calories going in. And uh, like I gave you some people example, I said, if I sat there and showed you, you know, a, um, a quarter of a watermelon, you know, a head of a uh, romaine lettuce, two tomatoes, you know, a banana, two carrots. I show you that. And then I show you two tablespoons of ranch dressing. The ranch, ta the two tablespoons of ranch dressing will end up having more calories in it than all that stuff I just named off to you. But you can easily put down no more tablespoons of that ranch dressing than you can all that those fruits and vegetables that I just named off or the vegetables that I just named off. Y'all you, you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, you're talking about having a, you know, a whole head of romaine lettuce, you know, I don't know. I'm talking about if it was a salad. Let's think of a salad. Well, even if not, if you just want to eat the stuff like it is. But all those fruit and vegetables are going to amount up to about seven, eight hundred some odd calories when you're going to get more than that out of two or three tablespoons of ranch dressing. So don't 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 do that. Your body works. Your body works the same. But it's just like you. If you, I guess I guess if you get cut and you bleed, well, see the reason why I'm bleeding so slow is because of a, a racism. See, my stress levels won't allow me to bleed out fast because. Get out of here, man. Get out. So anyway, guys, that's going to be my spill on that. Quit using other things as an excuse besides the point that you are not eating the right things. And some people say, well, Ty, I tried to do this. Yeah, but how long did you try it? Did you actually give your body a chance to go into a switch mode to go into ketosis to actually start to burn stuff off? And when you say you actually tried it, what is, what is trying? What is trying? You, you actually went on this thing to where you pretty much ate fruit and vegetables, no added anything fake. In other words, what I say when I talk to folks, if it didn't come from the earth, then don't eat it. Y'all get what I'm saying? So in other words, fruit, vegetables, nuts, berries, beans, those things like that. And even when it comes to doing things like that, those all are going to come into a type of, uh, they have to be monitored where it's like a certain amount of calories. Because the point is you're trying to get your body into a mode where it starts to burn off the fat that's already stored in you versus taking all the carbs or whatever that you're going to be taking in. And if you don't do anything at all, your body going to convert that the same exact way. So you have to put your body in the mode to where it's actually going to be burning off the fat. Okay. So anyway. Uh, this was this is really interesting. This this is really really crazy. And if y'all want to see more on this, it had me laughing real hard. It's on uh, they're called um, um oh I forget the name of. It. But anyway, if you want to see more of it, I got this from um someone from the guys. They're called conservative twins or whatever like that. But someone wanted me to see this clip, so I wanted y'all to see it too. So anyway, that's my take on that, folks. I'm getting ready to check out. I'm Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. Thank you